first place. Next time, I put my money on you. Crap! Cops! They're coming from everywhere! All right, get me out of here, man. Move, move, move! They're closing the road ahead. A small window on the left. You sure I'm gonna fit? Plenty of room. Uh, no! <laughs> like a club, baby. We got spike strips. Slow it down. On a mission, I wonder where they can stop me now. Did you see that? I did. Come on. Let's get you home. Sounds good to me. At the end of this, you will need to turn left at... Whoa! It's a cop! Oh, no, no, no! Okay. Come on, come on. Start for me. Matt, he hit me with something, Matt. I can't start her. I can't hear you, Matt. You're breaking up. Big ass rhino. Go, 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 go! There is a big ass rhino coming at you. Really? I didn't notice. All right. Let's try to keep up. On a mission, no other way they can stop me now. Yo guys, what is up and welcome back to another video on the We Play Games channel. And today we are covering some news that came out a while ago on Need for Speed Payback. And the thing is, I've just been sitting back on this Gamescom. And enjoying everything that they just dropped us the cops the the customization the on the fly tuning I that blows my mind I mean it doesn't because Forza has it and uh, other games have it but finally we have it in Need for Speed as well and the cops oh my god roadblocks kill switches ramming techniques holy smokes this is gonna be crazy. Um, hopefully they don't really make it into the free room as hard as probably Undercover did. Undercover, when you finish the game, you couldn't really drive around free room because cops would come after you every single time. Hopefully that, that stuff is like sort of fixed. The races now. Um, when you finish a race, it gives you three choices, just like in uh, Need for Speed World, I think, which hopefully will not be as bad as Need for Speed World, because Need for Speed World made your inventory full of shit parts, and uh, hopefully this won't do the same. Hopefully we can sell those parts, make some money that way if we don't want them. Um, it definitely brings an MMO feel to the game, which not a lot of racing games do. The Crew does it, Need for Speed World did it, The Crew 2 will do it, and, and that brings back the replay value of the game. You will be playing this game to get the best parts, not just for your, let's say, story mode car, but for your speedless car as well, or maybe they're the same. But if they're the same, then that's good for you, you're in luck. Um, the next point I wanted to make is customization. Oh my lord. One thing, the only part that I've been missing in 2015 was a ducktail for the GTR, for the R35. And now we have it. We have the ducktail. And I'm, I'm pretty sure we have a plethora of other parts as well. Also, uh, watching Crown's video, we saw that, that there are LEDs in the front bumper of the Liberty Walk kit, which I think it adds a cool touch. Also, uh, the graphics. The graphics, as you guys can see, they look fucking amazing. Amazing! The way the car classes work, as for what I understand right now, we'll get a full idea when we get the hands on the game, but the way they work right now is... They just add different stuff to your car and you wouldn't be able to use the car in a certain event. For instance, a drift car wouldn't work in an off-road race. I don't think it lets you. I think they have a system just like in Forza Horizon where you have to choose a car that is a certain class in order to participate in this event. So I think that's a good thing. I don't think that they... Um, limit the visual customization of the cars probably they will the suspension wise because you wouldn't be able to slam a fucking off-road car but you will be able to do that with a drift car or a race car or whatever 
Um, same with the runner class. Now, we've seen the runner class uh, BMW gameplay, and I think if what I saw on the videos, it feels heavier than the uh, BMW. There's a shot with a BMW where it does a little jump, and you can see the suspension buckling and all that. And it's amazing as well. Um, the runner class, that BMW was fucking smashing up the cops. It wasn't giving a shit. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more Need for Speed Payback content. When this game comes out, man, we will be fucking playing this shit nonstop. So. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like, subscribe, and my name is West, and I'm out. See you later, and bye-bye.